We have our raw HTML file set up. We have the external style sheet set up as well. We now want to connect the two together and we want to test that connection just to make sure everything's set up before we actually start building our responsive design layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm inside my HTML file. I'm going to drop my cursor anywhere inside the head element up towards the top of the HTML page. And I'm going to connect the two together by typing in the following open angle bracket link L I N K space and then rel equals and then in quotes style sheet. There we go. Just like that. And let's see, I'm going to type in the word type equals and then in quotes, I'm going to type in text slash CSS. There we go. And I'll throw in a space. And I'm also going to set this for all of my media components. So I'm going to go media equals and then in quotes all. And then last but not least, I'll type in href equals. And then in quotes, what I want to do is I want to specify the path to the external style sheet. Now, sometimes this can get a little bit tricky. Let me just show you something here. I'm just going to hide my code just for a second and go all the way down to my desktop and into my project files folder, which of course is sitting on my desktop. Now I've set my site up, at least for the time being anyway, with styles.css and index.html inside the same folder. So the path that I'm going to specify in the code is going to be a direct path to styles.css or whatever you named your external style sheet. So in other words, back inside my code, inside the quotes for href, I'm simply going to type in styles.css. That's all there is to it. Now this is again assuming that I haven't moved the external style sheet into a subdirectory or anything like this. And then after the closing quote, I'm going to throw in my closing angle bracket. That's it. Go ahead and save up your HTML file. Okay, there we go. There's our external style sheet now connected up to our HTML file. What I want to do now is I want to test the connection. How do I go about testing the connection? Well, if I flip back over to my external style sheet, there's nothing going on in here. This guy is completely empty at this point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a quick rule, maybe a couple of quick rules just to test out this connection. I'm going to type out body. Now, I don't know your experience level with CSS or not. I'm assuming that you've done a little bit of CSS at least. What I've done here is I've specified or created what's referred to as a redefined HTML element. So in other words, just by typing out the word body, what I've done here is I want to go and redefine what it means to be a body HTML element. I hope that makes sense. Notice, by the way, in the external style sheet, I didn't specify the angle brackets. I just specified the name of the HTML element that I want to go and redefine. So again, in my quick example here, just body all by itself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a space and I'm going to throw in my curly brackets or my squiggly brackets. And this is my quick test here. I'm going to throw in a temporary background color. So I'm going to say background full colon space and then a color, maybe like red. And then I'll follow that by a semicolon. Go ahead and save up your external style sheet. We've saved up our HTML file as well. So now if I go and open up my index.html file and the entire body area is filled with a solid background color of red, then we know that our connection is working. Let's go and test it out here. So go ahead and hide your code, head all the way back down to your project files folder. Again, mine sitting on my desktop. I'm not sure where you have yours. Go and find your HTML file and open them up inside a web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome myself for this. There we go. We have solid red, which means that my connection is working. So of course I could go back to my external style sheet, back into my code. And what I could do is I could go and change this background color, maybe to orange, something like this. And then I'll save this guy up and head back to the browser and refresh control or command R on my keyboard. And there I see the change. I know that this is a really, really simple example, but I always like to test my connection, even though I've done this a million times, I always like to test my connection to ensure that the connection between the external style sheet and the HTML page is functioning before I start building my crazy design, get everything laid out.
So hopefully you got something happening here. If you don't have your connection working, if something's broken, if it's not working properly, then there's got to be something wrong in this code that you've entered here. Make sure the code again has been entered into the head area of your HTML file. And if you want, you can pause the video and just compare my code with your code. We should have exactly the same thing here. Here's another test that I sometimes run. What I'll do is down inside the body area of my page, I'll go and throw in a quick paragraph. Maybe I'll do something like this. Open angle bracket P and then close angle bracket. And then once again, code has gone to the trouble of closing the paragraph for me there. Open angle bracket forward slash P, close angle bracket. And then I'll throw in some text to test, something like this. And then what I'll do is I'll head over to my external style sheet and I'll go and create a quick redefined HTML paragraph this time. So just P all by itself without the angle brackets. And then I'll throw in my squiggly brackets and then maybe I'll do something like this. Color, full colon space, and I'll say blue. Just a really quick test here. And then save up the two files, style.css and index.html and flip back over to your browser and refresh. And not only do we get that test text, but it also appears in blue as we specified. So there you go. We've set up the connection to the external style sheet. We've tested it. A couple of different ways here. The connection is functioning, which is great. By the way, people always ask me, how do I do this? How do I flip between my open applications? It's a neat trick that you can use either on the Windows side or on the Mac side. On the Windows side, try hitting Alt tab on your keyboard. On the Mac side, I can hit Command tab to flip between open applications. So that's how I'm doing that. Anyway, more importantly, we have the connection working. We've tested the connection. We're now ready to start building our layouts and building our media queries. I hope you're ready to dig into it.